Hey, what is up everybody? It's Jimo here. In today's video, we're gonna be playing on the most broken Warlock build currently in the game. The most broken build for me personally. I absolutely love playing on this class. I absolutely love playing on this build because this build feels like combination of Barbarian mixed with the Rogue with a little bit of vampirism on top of all of that. Before we get to the video though, I want to remind you, only 29.9% .9 of people who are watching my channel has subscribed, the rest didn't. If you're interested in variety of broken builds, dark and darker gameplay, and variety of dark and darker content, consider to press subscribe button because that's pretty much what I really love doing and that's what I'm really obsessed with. But let's get back into today's video. So, this is what the build we're gonna be playing with. It's gonna be the combination of a blood pact with the spell memory. Now, spell memory is what makes this build more brutal than previously. And pretty much, I'm gonna explain what has changed. In the previous game, in the previous time I when I played on the Demon Warlock build, I was playing with the Phantomize and the blood pact. At the time, I didn't thought of anti-magic being that OP, but it's in fact is OP and uh, you definitely want to go with it. It's uh, more viable than vampirism in my opinion. So this is the combination of uh, skills perks we're going to be playing with. It's going to be the anti-magic, shadow touch, soul collector, demon armor. Thing is, I'm not 100% certain that you need soul collector. Because I feel like 10% um, damage reflection to a person could actually be really damn freaking good and basically you don't always get to kill other mobs but um we're gonna be playing in today's video with the soul collector and maybe some other time we're gonna be playing with the dark reflection as for now we st we're gonna stick with soul collector for the skills we're gonna be playing with the life drain and summon hydra the rest does not matter i'm not really gonna even bother with any of this two main perks this one so that we get to spot rogues and this one so we get to have our hp back the idea of this build is that you are pretty much almost indefinitely get to cast demon form and then if the person is interested in fighting you're gonna go and fight that person if the person is not interested in fighting you you simply will turn it off use the spell memory i mean use your spells get your hp back with uh, blood pact and hydra and then you're backed into the fight with the demon form and the demon form, oh boy, let me tell you something, it's really damn freaking good. 50 health, 30 armor, 30 magic resistance. Basically, the only downside is your HP gonna get burned down if you stay in this form for too long, but that's okay. You also will inflict damage when you're close to somebody. So that's also a little feature that a lot of people didn't know about. And um, the combination of a blood pact with soul collector will give you five all attributes five all attributes is actually actually a lot because think of it you get five strands five vigor five agility five dexterity five of the rest as well you will be able to open doors faster you will be able to run faster and that that's really brutal you know what i mean so in for, for the build you want to stock a decent amount of um, regular interaction speed because you will have to chase people and when you have to chase people you will have to open doors you know and basically the regular interaction is going to be your best friend as for now you want to focus on combat attributes such as agility to run faster such as vigor to have enough health such as dexterity to attack faster um, with the demon form and five all attributes pretty much as a base demon form with soul collector you already become real strat and then if you throw a decent more or less gear set you don't even need to you know focus on it too much just throw something pretty much the build that i have is so budget that under 10,000 gold i was able to buy all of this so i spent like 9,000 gold to buy this whole gears the whole thing and pretty much this much of stuff gonna last me for a whole day i mean it's gonna be pretty hard to die um like seven times in a row you know what i mean so pretty much even if you manage to kill a couple juicers those kids are gonna get paid off really quick and the thing is i paid them off legit within a couple of games and uh, basically even if right after i would have died like you know non-stop i still will be able to just sell the gear and get right back onto you know the streak of uh, winning so yeah i hope i did explain the idea of today's build 
um, once again the blood packs and the spell memory so we get to get our HP back, shadow touch so we get a little bit of health, soul collector for a opportunity to have more um, all attributes, demon armor so we get to run the chapel defer and um, well sometimes from game to game I'm gonna be playing with um, plate gauntlets but it really doesn't matter you are already strong enough and I don't really see that many perks that will benefit you that much at this point because you are already good enough. I was thinking about one build in particular to make it anti as as a demon like more but like a demon anti-demon you know what I mean if you come across other warlocks or like this could be actually pretty good but I haven't really seen that many warlocks even though I'm trying to popularize the idea of playing on a demon lock there is not that many and the thing is this build in particular does not require much skill, does not require much effort. It's a really good build and basically if you put some thoughts into it, you will be able to win most of your encounters because this is a really damn good build and I legit absolutely love playing um, with uh, this build. The thing, the downside though, you can get kited around. So you have to keep an eye out to make sure that you don't have that much, you didn't lose that much health. And then, you know, you gotta make sure that uh, you fight everyone in the demon form. Yeah, I, I, I gotta stop yapping. <laughs> I already explained everything two times over. Let's hop in the game directly and let's go clap some chicks with it. Alright, we're finally in. Looks like we got a full lobby of juicers. Okay, maybe not these guys. Actually, those Spencer are in. Oh, what the fuck is this monstrosity? Yo, if I fight that guy 1v1, I legit will fucking stat check the fuck out of him. I don't need to be, uh, you know, overly geared to beat him. I legit will just like walk up to him, stab him a couple of times and he dies. And now I really want to fight that bard. I hope I find him. Looks like we have a homie here. Let's see what he has to say. The homie is lost. In the sauce. <laughs> Completely. Fucking took you 20 seconds to proceed the information. <laughs> maybe he is on the phone or something. Or maybe he is not paying attention. I usually don't pay much attention when uh, I'm doing tasks, for example. I could literally watch YouTube shorts or some YouTube content while... Oh, we have a wizard here. Looks like this guy on my dick, though. <laughs> oh, that, that would hit. Oh, that hit too. Oh, that didn't hit. Ooh, one inch short, brother. Oh, that missed. Oh. Yeah, that missed too. That was a... Yeah, it went slightly to the right. Okay, that was a clean. Yep, that hit too. Oh, no, 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 no. You stay away from me, dog. GG, Mr. Wizard. The representation of a Wizard main right here. So, we came from west. Doors open here to my left. Not sure why I did that. Mm. Let's go check south. We have two spawns here. So, if anything... Oh, wait, we have someone fighting here. What the fuck is going on here? Yo, they're teaming on the barb! Bro, two fucking teamers. Oh, yeah, fucking this is an execution, dog. You ain't making a life, you fucking pathetic trash teamer. Fuck you. That poor bard was supposed to be mine. Oh well. Fucking teamers. Every fucking second game, holy fuck. I legit think that the timers should just not be there, you know what I mean? Because whether or not you are the one who is teaming or the one who is getting team done, it's just not it, you know what I mean? It just doesn't fucking feel right. Like, the Iron Maze should... Holy fuck, what are those? That's insane. The Iron Maze should have a very strict rules when it comes to teaming, like for example... <sighs> yeah, it's probably will be very hard to regulate. No, but I really wanted to fight this part 1v1. 
That was unfortunate. But listen, the teamers got what they deserved. Fucking third party is what they get. Yeah, no, the homies got cheese as well. And they had to team up a bard. Interesting. I got used to keep saying that um, it's okay to team, do what you want. But then the moment the people see my nickname in the lobby and they be like, oh, that's Timo. Let's go team up and kill him. And, um, you know, I'm not trying to over exaggerate. This just become way out of control. The moment I kill one guy early in the game, like, boom, there is instantly like raid lobbies fucking where people starts to team up to get me because I don't play in the new player lobbies. I always play in uh, geared lobbies. And um, apparently people treat me like a threat when reality I'm <laughs> like I'm a casual homie like really I don't even fucking bring anything expensive this bard kit in particular that I got it's fucking remember all those kits that I've built it for today's session basically this one kit costs more than that whole fucking stash right there because in that stash I spent maybe like 10k gold all right, so pretty much, even if we lose six games in a row right now, we got enough gear to just sell this one gear set and afford like another stash of gear for my warlock. <laughs> no, I really like playing with the budget gear and um, I don't really focus on very good stats. You just get one, maybe two good stats, look for cheap items and just go and roll with it. You know what I mean? All right, into the next game we go. Oh shit, this homie looks pretty pretty, look at him. 183 level? Holy fuck. But let's be real, that long sword with the um, green cape, something about it looks really fucking good. Recurve bow. Yeah, that looks really sick, I like it. Mm. Yeah, no, this looks fine. Fighter. It's a, like, I don't even know, fucking, it's the Rondel Slayer Fighter, bro, that's pretty bad, let's be real, barb, any barb will kill that Slayer. Alright, we got an interesting spawn, I don't really like spawning in the middle, but overall it's okay, usually I like to spawn at the side, and then so that, um, I'd likely encounter one party, but when you spawn in the middle, you fucking gonna encounter the whole fucking lobby. Speaking of encounter, this homie is fucking into, into having a little bit of PvP. I missed, well, it was fucking, you can't predict that. Okay, that was a good hit. Alright. Now, the beauty of the build that I'm running with is that um, I can spawn the Hydra and I can suck in it. I could suck those all. I mean, um, I could live drain the Hydra. Oh, fuck. That probably was not the best move. Let's go back and um, spawn Hydra right here. We could jump on top here, I think. We'll get a little bit of health. As long as we can get... <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Chill, dog, man. Stay there. Let me heal up real quick. I could use this homie really quick. To get my HP back and a little bit of stats. I don't see how he's supposed to win the fight against uh, Warlock because you're a counter to um, most... What is the homie doing? Interesting. Um, <laughs> just killing the Hydra, bro. <laughs> That's interesting. I just gotta attack him once. Oh, I didn't. It's okay. All right, my brother fighter, your time, you can count down to 10. Well, I mean, you're dead already, so GG. Good fight, brother. All right, let's summon some Hydra, get a little bit of HP back. I really like using this ball to get my HP back. It's so convenient. You just um, life drain the Hydra anytime and you're good to go. Okay, as long as it don't get certified here. If 
But uh, I'm already full HP, so I don't give a shit, legit. So yeah, let's just take the gear and uh, go into next game. Okay. Mm. All right, gear. I mean, there's nothing crazy. The homie is playing on the budget, same as I. Yeah, no, I like playing on the budget. Especially when you get to outplay some really good players with the budget gear, just because of your skill. When you don't rely on the gear, but you rely on, you know, on your fucking hands. <laughs> That's when you, like, feel the satisfaction. So, really, I don't play with good gear ever. Oh, fuck me, bro, I missed all my attacks. <laughs> Like, when you play with budget gear, I know, something about it, especially when you win those tryhards pro players and, like, fucking make them question their existence when they're, like, you know, trying to compare themselves with the pro player and you're just a casual homie <laughs> who makes content. That's fucking makes me love fucking. Because the thing is... People treat this game so fucking competitively when it's not a competitive game. Oh shit, we have a homie here. It's there's there's no point to treat this game competitively. This game <laughs> Okay, this homie knows it's me and the love me. Oh well. Okay, okay. I kind of used to take this game very seriously when it comes to, you know, fighting other players, but now it just feels so fucking silly or kind of weak in a way, you know what I mean? Like, it's a... Uh, oh, my homie knows. No witnesses are allowed. Okay, I'll go for toast. One, two. Okay, not bad. One, two. He decided to switch the word dish. That was a late move right there. GG, my love. Yeah, no, we already have way too much stuff in this game. That's probably like two and a half thousand gold. Mm, I'm good. Like legit, you play one game and you get literally another full kit. Because, uh, well, I mean, that's only if you play with budget. Oh shit, the double PDR cloak. That's like 500 gold. Definitely not bad. I legit think we might as well take extract. Oh, wait. We have a homie here. I was about to fucking extract. This homie, I would assume, he killed the Slayer fighter. Because there is nowhere to be seen. You know? I don't have much time. I really have to hurry the fuck up to fight this guy. Because if he gets away, oh, that would be so fucking sad. This one may have probably another 3,000 gold in his stash. I mean, in his inventory. If not more. Alright, so... Let's travel around for just a little bit. Until we get to hear steps below. Okay. Yeah, fuck it, let's just go in. We don't have time. We gotta go and fight. Oh, hell yeah, the homie's here. This is dead end. There is nothing gonna save him. One, two, three, four. One, two, and dead. Uh, thank you. Holy fuck. Yeah, no, GG. It was just a matter of time. There was no difference between hitting him six times or eight times or ten times. His time was limited. Alright, let's see what the homie has. Oh, fuck. Fuck me, the homie killed the gear guy. Hell yeah, brother. It's time to get all the... Oh, God, that's way more than 3,000 gold. More like five. Oh, two... Th oh, fuck. Yo, those are three plus K, maybe 4K. Truth is my... Oh, shit, brother. No, no, that's like 10,000 gold in this inventory. No, that's very fucking expensive. If I sell everything, that's legit 10K plus gold. We already paid off for every single kit that we built. Realistically, we already made like 25,000 gold, if not more, maybe even 30,000 gold with the previous kit from uh, that bard that we killed. We didn't kill the bard, we killed the teamers who killed bards, so you know what I mean. 
All right, definitely not bad. We legit have absolutely nothing to worry about. We got so much gold already. Fucking two games down. It's insane. Okie dokie. Into the next game we go. Let's see what the homie has. One geared homie looks like. Kinda. This homie is kinda geared as well. Yeah, he possesses threat. Okay, not bad, not bad. Yeah, definitely. The board, naked. Warlock. Geared, very geared. The BOC Warlock, yeah, that's a stress right here. Have to be careful with him. But I do feel like I'm his counter in a way, so. I legit have no fucking idea where the players are at. Oh shit, no, actually I do. There is one guy right there. That's the Warlock, by the way. Or a rogue, but I don't think I saw a sword. Yeah, no, that's definitely a fucking Warlock. Fight me, brother. Wait. Ah, bro. I was fucking... Oh, no, he got away. Gee, fucking gee. I'm still gonna try to catch up to him. That knows where he went. Oh, that's a cleric. Where did he... Where did the warlock go, brother? Uh, Alright, thank you. Aw, oh, man, he went to use the shrine. Yeah, no, that's understandable. I'm still down to fight him, though. Just gotta be kinda careful. Maybe attack him with a curse a little. Yeah, that definitely would hurt a warlock. Looks like the cleric is just... Not taking any side for now. Yeah, we know when he's gonna try to fucking third party. Um. Oh, well, that's kind of awkward. Cleric is just chilling. Okay. We have to fight, dog. There is no other option. Oh, he got a hit. By the way, he got a hit. Oh. Mm, I shouldn't have casted my stuff. I should have directly run at him. At that mob blocked everything. Now the homie got away. Yeah, no. Everything got fucked up in just a matter of time. And he got to the middle and he's gonna reset. Dog, what is this shit, bro? That's some weak ass gameplay right here. It's okay. The homie is not interested in fighting me. I'm do. <laughs> I'm very interested. Homie is gone. Cleric is still chilling big time. Oh shit. Oh. Yeah, no, that was scary. That was the just scary. Okay, he still have BOC Waste on. Your ability. Waste your ability. Waste your ability. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Not scared to fight you. One more hit. Teach you. If he would finish that hit, I would have died. But I was just fucking, you know, way too committed to care. <laughs> Alright, we gotta heal up. I'm not sure when the cleric will decide to actually start attacking me. But looks like he is just spectating. Sometimes people do that. <laughs> but usually they start fighting. This guy is different though. He is big time chilling. Like just straight up legit homie is just not taking sides. I'm just chilling. Hey, what's up brother? I'm here, man. How's it going, brother? What's good, brother? I was just having a fair fight, fight that's all, yeah. Like? Yeah, yeah, no, we gotta fight for sure. I'm down. Cleric got a spectators. Looks like he is not taking his sides. He's big time chilling. Good homie. All right, brother, you go to that side. I stay here, we fight. Cleric, promise us you're not gonna attack us. Mm, cleric, you should fight whoever wins. So just make it fair. All right, brother, deal. Mm, by the way, I'm not very geared. I came and was a very budget build. All right, deal, brother. Let's get to it. Okay. Looks like the fight has started. Time to phantomize. I mean, demon form. One, two, three, four, five. Five hits so far. Oh, he died. Five hits, he died in five hits? What the fuck? I thought it would take more than that. Let go on. Because I'm almost full HP, by the way. I know how did that happen. 
I am in this super budget and I'm legit full HP. I just threw him a whole bunch of random shit, got a random magic tap of a character and came in, so... Yo, look, we have a warlock here. What the heck is going on? You also wanna fight, brother? If you wanna fight, let's make it fair, good outside, and let's just fight. I'm not playing against Beam on land, I know that for sure. Let me know if you wanna fight or you're not, brother. I'm all good here. I actually wanna fight. I don't think I lose, but I have like a thousand worth of gear, so. Yeah, I'll just go to that side and uh, meet in the middle and we fight. Here, I'll, I'll pop a blue pot when you guys see me about to pop the blue pot, then you guys start. Deal, okay. I'm actually gonna fuck you. Yeah, no, the cleric with judgment smite. It's um, it's a not necessarily direct counter, but um, I do kill them demons. Oh shit, there is a barb. Hey, listen, barb, we are having fair one v one. Could you kindly fuck off, please? Listen, that dude was literally just chasing me around the fucking map for the entire time. We're having a fair fight, brother. Oh, oh I know man. You. Yeah, yeah, fucking they are all so fucking brave, you know, to start party and fight someone with no HP. Yeah, no, like legit, let me use a fucking shrine and I'll put this fucking dagger inside your big fucked asshole. Hmm, here we go. Oh no, I'm down to take a challenge here, I fucking wanna fight here, come fight here. Oh, what, he's fucking scared now? Yeah, no, he is scared. Like a little fucking bitch he is. Nah, homie is fucking going straight up. Fucking, <laughs> not even looking back. It was like, <laughs> Oh my god. Fucking pathetic, holy shit. Mm, it looks like homie didn't get looted. We gotta go check the... Oh, look. Hey, listen, you know, let's just call it here. Load up and just no, fucking no, go in text game. No, no, not really, brother. Make it fair. We can't really team up to kill anyone, so it's just not gonna be the right thing to do. Let's just call it here. Yeah, no, fuck it. We have a barp here, so you never know when he's gonna join. Oh my god, this guy is so fucking geared. Holy fuck. Bidrog has uh, 200 health or something. Jesus Christ. This guy is super geared. Like Games were like this are so away. fucking rare. That's insane, by the way. It's like fucking what? one in a lifetime. I've seen better. I think those are when like, everyone is I'm just sure so like chill like that. Right like oh look, there is a barb right there. Let's just take extract. Let's not fight. Hey, you don't, you don't get to come on this fucking no, 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 no. You're not no, fucking you coming with us. Come. You fucking stay there. You don't hey, fucking don't come. Do You're not welcome here. It. You don't want to do that. You better fucking stay there, you fucking guy. Stay there. <laughs> that was actually kind of funny game. <laughs> Not bad, we got so much profit at this point. It's ridiculous. I don't even know how much we made. Probably with this game alone, we got like 25 plus thousand gold. Bro, what is this? Legit, a single player in the whole lobby? That's fucking meme. Naked bard in the barb. Never mind, we have two people. Okay. We came across Barb. It's time to fight. Oh, I forgot I don't heal when I... <laughs> fucking muscle member. Wow. That was legit impressive. Damn. I mean, does he know that if I turn demon form right here, he dies? You know what? Let's just fucking turn demon form and fight him. You think I'm scared, by the way. <laughs> oh no, he's running. Ah, that would be so nice if I hit that. Mm, fucking not happening. Alright. No, brother, I'm just trying to bend the job. Oh, I missed two hits. For his zone so far. 
six, seven, seven hits. That's GG, brother. All right, let's see what the homeboy has. Yeah, probably another four or five K. Nah, not four, maybe like three. Yeah, probably around three thousand. I'm not really interested to go and try hunt the naked bard, so fuck it. We killed the geared guy, we're gonna go into the next game. Oh, wow. Literally only one rope in the whole lobby. Interesting. If anything, what will you do as a naked rogue in the dungeon? Probably go and try kill a troll. I'm gonna go and try and check the troll. Maybe I come across him. Okie dokie. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I have no fucking idea where he's gonna be at. He could be anywhere legit. Go check troll room, I guess. Oh shit, we have guy here. The homie, we found the homie. All right, let's just team inform. He's probably went in with somewhere here. Okay, one, two, three, four. JJ. Oh well, the homie didn't have too much, but that's okay. Maybe like a couple thousand. All right, we'll just go extract. Empty lobby. Oh well, it is what it is. Okie dokie. Level 69. Full biz. <sighs> New account. I really hope he's not cheating. I really hope he's not cheating. <laughs> I've noticed like low level account was biz. And um... They all are so fucking good. They always find you, you know, they always get you off guard. I hope this is not going to be the the one that will kill me. <laughs> but listen, even if that's going to happen, that's OK. Hmm. Mobs are dead here. That I know it. Oh, we have someone fighting right here. Let's go demon form. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, dog. We have a droid, so we have to kill this guy. He's slightly faster than me, what the fuck? Okay. He is legit not interested in fighting me. Oh man, that's fucking droid. Okay, GG. Just gotta be careful here not to die to a fucking goblin mob. Ah, <laughs> Understandable. Let's see what the guy is. Oh. Oh, that's the guy. That's the homie. <laughs> Why am I not surprised, bro? Nah, that's that's okay. That's fine. The homie is just really a good player. Okay, okay, so I want to conclude today's video. I'm gonna be honest with you. I had a blast playing with the demon lock. This is a really, really good build. So we've invested a little under two and a half thousand gold per build per kit. And we made a bunch of them. We've lost one so far. And I replenished one with the gear that uh, I have ta taken from people we killed previously. Um, so far, we didn't lose anything. We only gained. We gained a lot. And um, I would need to start selling stuff. And um, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna be honest, the Warlock with the Demon form um, probably is a high-end S-tier class, really, really high up there. It's a very good build, it's a very good class, it feels really strong, and um, yeah, no, legit, the Demon Warlock is a straight-up counter to Fighter, straight-up counter to uh, Barbarian. Um, you can fight off Clerics, you can fight off Wizards, you, you're gonna have a decent time fighting um, bards. You just gotta, um, you know, position yourself well. You gotta, um, you know, make sure you stay full HP. You gotta utilize blue potions. And for the most part, you will be able to stat check majority of the classes. It feels like a fast version of a barb that is mixed with the rogue because you get to use the crease dagger. And on top of that, you, you get to throw the um, 
<laughs> you know little um void balls at people like well, you you got to throw you got to throw a little magic and you got to cast some spells if things go wrong you just reset cast the hydra heal up just get away far enough you know where you don't get landmine i legit really love playing on a demon warlock it's it's my favorite class it's like it reminds me of when i was playing on the cleric and i had complete blast you know blasting the fuck out of geared players it feels the exact same way now and i hope the warlock becomes a lot more popular especially this build the demon build in particular it feels great it feels op and um, you should definitely give it a try anyway i hope you enjoyed today's video it's timo and i'll see you in the dungeon peace out